So it is pretty crazy, hectic, busy. But this is the 7-Eleven. You know you found the beginning of the festival if you see the 7-Eleven. This looks like a scene out of a movie. Oh, we just arrived on the main road up here, 7 Eleven on the corner. So normally, you can drive down this street, but today it's a walking street only. They have uh, all these food stalls here, selling all sorts of different things. This is the uh, Lanta, how do, you, how do you say it, Bo? It's called what? The Lanta Festival? Uh, Lanta Lanta? Lanta Lanta. Lanta Lanta Festival. They have it once a year here on Koh Lanta. And I believe it's for three days. Today's Thursday. I think we're going to have it Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. And it's, yeah, it's the biggest festival of the year on Koh Lanta. I've never, actually never been to it before. I was here during it on my last trip, but I think I just missed it or I didn't quite fully know that it was as robust and and exciting as it is, so yeah, I'm here now. Kyle's inside somewhere. We're gonna meet up with him in a quick second here, but Frederick's just getting some of these things. What is this, Frederick? What are you buying here? Okay, like like a peanut brittle almost. Go, or something? Go, try it, so. Okay. It's interesting. So many of these little things here. You have five bucks. Looks like sweets. Looks like the sweet stand. Look at that, eh? Little rice cracker, wafer, caramel things. Looks tasty. I have five baht here. You need five baht? Five baht. What is this? Four? Four? Five baht. Thank you very much. Nice. On the wave there. That's what Frederick rides. Wave. It's uh, like a semi automatic, I think. You shift through the gears, but no clutch. Nice Okay. Hey, buddy. Got a little bar operation here. This is one of the owners of a bar, a local bar here. Mojitos, Muay Thai, Mai Thais. Good list of drinks. Saudi cop. Oh, this guy here. <laughs> some cool watches here and different nick lighters and got some coins, some cool coins. Very cool, very cool. Nice little fruit stand here. So they're doing falafels and chicken pita. Not bad, good prices. That's kind of the way it is. You come to these street markets and you definitely get yourself some better prices and usually some pretty fantastic food. Oh, we got some, got some critters here at this stand. Some like grasshoppers here, crickets. Sort of worm thingies. Look at these big guys here. Oh, yeah. Hey, eh? Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Some more food stands over here. Looks like chicken there. Some fresh seafood. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of like a ceviche that you get in Mexico. Very similar. I don't know what Thai writing says, but oh, then my go-to, my go-to uh, chicken strips. All the candy. Give it a try. The first one. Oh. Take it. Mm. Was it good? Wow. Very good. Was good? That's dessert right there. It's like um. A strawberry coated with like some sort of like hard like can candy glass glaze. I've seen a few people eat them on this trip so far. I've never had one. No, no. I'm good, man. Thanks, though. One and done. That was very good. Yeah, it's supposed to be a walking street only, but I guess they have people that are doing... Oh, look, the police. They make, they make their own rules. They can go wherever they want. It's supposed to be a walking street. Have a few vehicles coming through that are doing 
drop off transport and things like that for supplies and whatnot, but most of what you see here is uh, very tasty. And lots of things to buy and look at. Like all the viewers here on the channel know, you know, we love walking into these markets here and checking out the. Oh, look who we ran into here, Mr. Jones. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah, uh, is your name Kyle Jones? <laughs> this guy's kind of a big deal. We got, he got these like strawberry covered, the like, candy glaze things. It's sugar. And some sort of like peanut brittle type thing oh, here. Man, yeah, we just got here from the Mexican restaurant. You are the first oh. to try it. Clothes here. How was it? How's that for you? Nice little, nice little treat. Hello. Hello. Those guys are really they own cool. Free Descent. Yeah, yeah, I was there the other night. It was like the best vibe ever. Yeah, Free Descent is a great bar, man. Great bar. And not, not that I want to show my age here, but it was really interesting that like at their bar the other night, it was uh, uh, some girl's birthday, and like the average age of the people there was probably like your age, four, or more. Yeah. 35 was may maybe 40 even was like the average age, <laughs> and yet everyone was like going ham. The energy yeah, was like yeah, up, and I was just like, this is not what I'm used to That's in Canada. The expat energy in Kalanta. Yeah. It's like 40 plus, yeah. but everyone is still kind of like youthful yeah, yeah. and like goes out not to say that like that's a necessity but I would say you know people are like drinking I see and seen as well <laughs> what do you got here Try. what are these things you want to try them? it's like peanut brittle almost yeah. it's like it? some sort of nut brittle how is it it's it's quite sweet it's very awesome. good yeah 8 out of 10. <laughs> so where uh, where is the violin show thing? Well, the, what I think direction? the parade is going to come down the main road and he's just like part of that. So, oh, okay. Uh, it's a moving thing. Yeah, they're going to walk and like have a dance. And, uh, okay. I'm actually not sure because I didn't come to the opening ceremony last year. And the first year I was here, the Lentil Anthem Festival was cancelled because of COVID. Uh, I think it was cancelled from 2019 until 2023. I don't think there was one in 2020, 2021, or 2022. Oh, really? So I think this is, or yeah, yeah. So last year was the first one in four years. And big success. It was very popular. Um, by far the most people I've seen congregated in Colanta. Yeah, I had no idea it was going to be this this yeah. intense and this big. It gets, it gets very big. I mean, you get a lot of vendors that come from Krabby and such. Oh, really? Yeah. They come from the, like, the mainland. Oh. We just ran into a, an old friend of Brian's and he owns this place where he makes these like high quality hammocks and he ships them like all over the world. I'll give you a look at it. So this is my friend Butch here who owns the, the hammock house in Old Town. Met him a few years back playing, playing some legal poker on the island. Nothing, no big deal. 
much. Yeah, on the down though. This, this, but, this uh, you've had this business here for what, 20 years now, you said? Yeah, pretty much. Came here 23 years ago. I remember when I first came to Colanta about 12 years ago, I had an ex-girlfriend and a whole group of us, and we all came here and they all brought hammocks home. Put them, like the single ones, the sitting ones, mm -hmm. and they have them like in their bedrooms. So still? they can just, yeah, okay, I think uh, maybe some of them do. I know they have the hammocks still, so. Yeah, I'll just take a little tour of your store here. I have a YouTube channel now, so it's gonna go on my YouTube channel. Yeah. This is the uh, even the most affordable option here. Twelve hundred baht. They've got all different sizes here. What do you think, Kyle? Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Super jumbo hammock, thirty-five hundred baht. He gets them all custom made from some supplier he's had for years now. Oh, I thought he makes them. Uh, he he might have workers that put them together now, but. I, I don't know to be honest with you. I thought he said he got them designed maybe and he gets them made somewhere else, but he very well could get them made right here. I'll ask, I'll ask him when we leave. Made elsewhere? In no, no, we have our own production up north. Okay. And it's actually a project that was started for one specific hill tribe. Okay. They were like the last nomadic hill tribe of Thailand. Okay. Uh, but due to deforestation, they couldn't continue that existence and so on so they kind of like yeah got I, lost in the modern I, world i think so i remember you telling me this yeah. when we were playing playing cards there a few yeah. years back because I, I you know you, you yeah, hear similar yeah. things over the years you forget all the stories right so yeah and then it's it's kind of like so it started for them specifically but like it's they live in in rural thailand there's only agriculture right in okay. terms of work so the, the neighboring villages also kind of got interested that's yeah you, like for older people or, or, or like women with children they, they can't go work on the field they do right yeah and that's the only thing so this is something they can do at home and you really help that economy out there right yeah, they're, yeah. They're, some people some people do it full-time some people do it just to supplement yeah. their income or like as a hobby a couple of wow. hours uh, wow but it's yeah no it's it's been going for 30 30 years i think wow. uh, something like that now. And this is like the only real hammock store on the island of this yes. caliber right yeah 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 we used to have uh, some shops somewhere else but covid kind of yeah came through and then yeah there's a few resorts we got a good export uh, yeah i remember, Japan, I remember when i was here stuff, so. like staying at Kantian Bay at Drunken Sailor yeah and they had the hammocks in there like oh yeah we get it from a guy oh, yeah, down yeah, the girl, exactly. that's how my friends got very interested because we were staying right behind Drunken Sailors at the time oh, yeah, yeah, going there every day for food and like where do we where do you find these where do we find these hammocks and they were like oh go down to Old Town uh -huh. a guy Butch right. has a shop down there so they came down here and you know nice, it, all, it all came nice. full circle so it's nice seeing you again perfect yeah, yeah no, again. No, what a surprise too because I swear we were we were talking yesterday or the day before Bearded Brian, <laughs> yeah, bearded yeah. Brian, and we're like trying to think back, and it must have been for a reason. Yeah. So, what are you guys waiting to do? What are you waiting for? Going for a uh, half an hour footy. How much is that costing you? Uh, two hundred baht for a half an hour, oh. like, like just about eight dollars. So, I've got one massage so far in Aonang for like a, an hour-long massage. It was three hundred baht, so like twelve dollars. This will be my second massage, but just pure foot massage. So. Give my feet some time to recover here while I yeah, they you know, give me a good old footy. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Okay, message me when you're done. Good. Okay. Alright, they're gonna get a foot massage. I'm gonna go get some more food because uh, basically all I've ate today is that sausage that you might have just saw me eat. So. I gotta go find my avocado smoothie lady. She's the only person in town I've found who has avocados reliably. Um, I actually went to get an avocado from her, avocado smoothie the other day from her, and she actually wouldn't let me get it because the avocado wasn't uh, ripe enough. So she was like, nope, can't do, can't do, come back tomorrow. So I came back the next day and had a really good one. So uh, she was actually on the other side of the island, closer to the north um, at the night market, but now this Lanta Lanta festival has started, so she's moved her operation this way. So I told her I'd come see her here. So, we'll go find her. Oh boy. Oh boy. Man, like you come here and you're like, I'm gonna get in the best shape of my life, and then things happen. You're like, oh, Asians are all fit because of their <laughs> diets, right? And then you realize how much sugar there actually is available. Oh man. If anyone back at home knows, um, you know these cookies because you're Canadian. Yes. Dad's cookies. You know oh, Dad's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a really good version of the Dad's chocolate chip. You're the That's guinea exactly pig. Exactly what I, this tastes like. I didn't try those yet. So you're the guinea pig for these cookies. I bought a couple of them. I got this brownie. You know those Dad's cookies that you get in the 
in the box. Sometimes it's like, there's like the variety pack. It's like oatmeal and whatever. It has the, the flaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what this tastes like. It's got that consistency to mm -hmm. it. Wow. Man, I'm trying to make it to my avocado smoothie lady. And I keep running into food along the way. Okay, I see her. I see avocados too, I think. I'm pretty sure. What <laughs> got? Did I miss it? Yes. Are there avocados left? Yes, yes they're still. Okay. It's busy. It's so busy. So many people. I see why you come here instead of staying over there. Thank you. Do you have mango sticky rice too? And that's what you're making? Uh, I'm gonna get a smoothie first. Yeah. Pretty fresh mango sticky rice. It's as fresh as it gets, right? As fresh as you can get. Can I get a mango avocado smoothie when when you're ready? It's the only reliable avocado connection I've found in Koh Lanta. What is your name? Uh, I'm on uh, the Wing Kitchen. <laughs> and you, you, you normally are in Chiang Mai, right? Yeah, I'm from Chiang Mai. You're from Chiang Mai. I only in the only high season. Yeah, she only comes here for the high season and then goes back to Chiang Mai. this is my smoothie but I saw her dump honey and like coconut milk in normally I just get mango avocado and ice but she's putting some extras in it and it's one of those things where if you, if you didn't ask for it and it comes with it and it's extra delicious because of it it's not your fault and the calories don't count because I didn't ask for the extra honey and coconut milk and all that stuff it's like when you order a black coffee and it comes with sugar you know you just drink it because it doesn't count I didn't ask for it Amazing. Is that mine? That's mine? Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Thank you. How much how much is it? Uh 79. 70. Okay. That's okay. Just keep it. Keep it. Oh, keep that thank, thank you. I'll probably come back and see you for another one. Okay. Okay. And you gotta watch our YouTube. Yes, I is that same on Instagram? Same on Instagram. Same on Instagram. Same, same name. Oh, on okay, okay. okay. See ya, thank you. Man, nicest lady ever. So nice. It's so good. It's so good. Man. Oh, I'm so happy right now.
I don't know what these things are, guys, but they're five bot. So. Is that squid? Squid? Is squid? Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. So kids, when they see you walking around with the camera, they always like give you an extra little look and they're kind of fascinated. And I think because they know that you're YouTubing. Like the younger generation is like, I know what that guy's doing. I've seen this before. I think the one thing that I wanted to say right in this moment is just how like, I'm sure it's not like this all over the country, just like, just because it's not like that in any country, but just how like unbelievably safe you feel in Thailand. Just feel, yeah. I've been here for, you know, at this point I've spent well over six months of my life in Thailand. This trip only being a few weeks, but going back to last year. And like, I have never had a moment. I've been, you know, a few places now in Thailand. I've never had a moment where I felt even like slightly threatened or slightly unsafe. Like, you know, like obviously this place is incredibly crowded. There's a million people here, but you know, I was walking around by myself over by the ocean, you know, it's a little dark for a second. And just like, I don't know, just feel so safe. And like last night I'm, you know, biking home at like 4 a.m. by myself, other side of the island, just feel just completely safe. It's just, it's just crazy. We're going. We're here. Lanta Lanta Festival. It's like 10.30 right now, and uh, I think Job To Do is gonna be coming out, or he's already out, so. And who is Job, who is job To Do? Job To Do is like the biggest reggae artist in Thailand. Oh, actually? Yeah. You can check him out on Spotify, Job To Do. He's, he's awesome, he's awesome.